if you want to use a second screen for presenter view or some other purpose, but you don't have a monitor, but you do have a second laptop, in this video, I'll show you how to use a second laptop as a second screen for a primary laptop. I'm going to start by showing you how to use a Windows laptop as a second screen for a primary Windows laptop, then how to use a Mac laptop as a second screen for a primary Windows laptop, and then finally, how to use a Windows laptop as a second screen for a primary Mac laptop. If you want to get updated on all the articles and videos I release on virtual presenting, just go to the link that you see on the screen, sign up, and you'll get an email every time I release a new video or article. Now, let's get to showing you how to use a second laptop as a second screen for your primary laptop. Here's how you can use a second Windows laptop as a second screen to a primary laptop. Why would you do this? Because having a second screen makes presenter view and a lot of other tasks a lot easier. When you don't have a monitor to plug in, this is a way that you can do it. And we're going to do it using this device. This is a video capture device. And what it does is the input side here, which is a regular HDMI. So we're going to take that out of the primary computer. And then we're going to plug this end, which is a regular USB, into our second screen laptop. And that's going to appear to that laptop as a camera, a webcam. And so then we can view that in the camera app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect this. So this has a, a little USB extension, makes it easier to actually fit in. And I'm going to use a regular HDMI cable. And I'm going to take an HDMI output from my primary laptop. So my primary laptop needs this adapter because it doesn't have an HDMI port. Most of them don't these days. So I'll take that HDMI output and I'll tuck this in uh, behind. And then I'm going to plug that into my capture card. Just plug it in there. And then plug the capture card, the USB part, into the second screen here. Now you don't need a fancy second screen. This is a, a, a Surface 3, which is in quite a number of years old. So the first thing you want to do on that second screen laptop is to turn the taskbar off, because otherwise it's pretty confusing to have two of them visible. So I'm going to go down to the taskbar, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to taskbar settings. And that will open up the settings for the taskbar in the Windows settings. And I'm going to turn this item here, automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. I'm going to turn that on. Once I turn that on, you'll notice the ta taskbar disappears. So I can make it, it disappears normally, I can make it come back by moving my cursor down to the bottom there. So my primary laptop now recognizes it has a second screen. And on my primary laptop, what I'm going to do is I'll go into the Windows settings here, and I'll go to System, and it shows me the display. You notice it has Display 1 and Display 2. Now, which is which? Well, you just click on the Identify button, and it shows me 1, and the other one must be 2. But it's arranged number 2 to the right, but it's actually physically to the left. Well, that's no problem. You can just grab this and move it over. So I'll move it on to the right, to the correct side here. I'll say Apply. Now, how do I see that screen on my second screen laptop. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the camera app. So I'll go down to get my taskbar again, and I'm going to open up and find my camera app. Now the camera app is just an app that's built into Windows, so it's always there. And it allows me to select in the camera app the different cameras that I have attached. So you notice it defaults to the front camera. There we are, and you can see the phone that's filming us. But you have this button here that says change camera. So I'm going to click on that and it now changes to my USB camera. And you'll notice the USB camera has that Windows desktop. And when I move my cursor from my primary laptop over, you'll see it shows up on my second screen laptop. And now I have my displays arranged. You can adjust the uh, the Resolution of that second screen if you want to. Mine's set to the recommended 1920 by 1080. And if you see that it's the same screen on both, just make sure you select this item, extend these displays, because that's what makes sure that 
it actually uses it as a second display. So I can close that out. Now I can move my cursor over. You see it show up over there. I can open up PowerPoint and show you presenter view. I've opened up a PowerPoint presentation and it is already set to use presenter view. So now when I put it into slideshow mode, you'll notice I get presenter view on my primary laptop and I get my slides on my second screen laptop. Now I can share that second screen in a virtual meeting in Teams or in Zoom. And this allows you to have a second screen when you don't have a monitor, but you have another laptop. And it works really well. We're simply using the camera app to display that screen on our second screen laptop. And it works just as you expect. I can advance through my slides and it is working without delay. You're seeing all the animations. Here's a build on this particular slide. This one, we even have a morph animation. You notice how smooth it is. So these video capture cards allow you to do that, to have two screens when you have two laptops. I can simply move this over and you'll notice it moves over to that other screen and move it back. The video capture cards are really quite inexpensive. You can get really expensive ones in, you know, hundred, two hundred dollar ones. The one that I'm using is uh, just about twenty or thirty dollars off of Amazon. So think about using a second laptop as a second screen for a primary laptop when you don't have another choice that's easier to use. You can also use a Mac laptop as a second screen for your primary Windows computer. And this uses, again, the same as what you saw earlier in the video, where we have the HDMI output of the primary computer going into our video capture card. And then I'm gonna plug the USB into the Mac computer. Now, sometimes a Mac might need an adapter. Mine uh, only has USB-C, so I just have a simple a USB adapter here that I'm going to plug my uh, video capture card cable into. And there we go. And again, my primary laptop, I'm going to check the settings here to make sure that it has the display on the correct side. And uh, it does. There's number one, that's my primary computer. So I'm set up there. On the Mac, one of the things you wanna do is you don't wanna use one of the built-in uh, camera apps like Photo Booth, because it covers up actually part of the camera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna suggest you go to the app, Mac App Store and you download this app called Quick Camera. Quick Camera is a great app because it just displays the camera. That's all it does. So I've already downloaded Quick Camera and I'll start it up here. And so Quick Camera starts up and it shows, again, there's our built-in FaceTime uh, screen, uh, FaceTime camera. And you can go to the camera item, camera menu and say, select source. I'll select USB video. And now you see my Windows desktop, that second screen from my primary. And what I can do is I can say, go full screen on my Mac. And now I actually have a full screen over here on my Mac from my Windows primary laptop. So on my primary laptop, again, I can go into PowerPoint. So I have my PowerPoint presentation here. I can again move it over to the other screen. Notice how smoothly that moves. And it really looks like that Mac laptop is actually a monitor for me. It works really well. So when I go into uh, presenter view, for example, I see my presenter view here on the screen and I again move through my slides and it really, that MacBook, this is a MacBook Air, so it's not a you know high-end machine, but it still works perfectly well to display as a second screen to my primary Windows laptop. When you're done on the Mac, to exit the uh, quick camera full screen, you just press the escape key on the Mac and it goes there. So notice you actually could use the Mac as a second screen for Windows 
Plus, you could also have other things going on it if you really wanted to. But that's how you can use a Mac laptop as a second screen for a primary Windows laptop. You can also use a Windows laptop as a second screen for a Mac laptop. Now to do this, you need to be able to output through the HDMI format from your MacBook, which most of the time they don't have anymore. So I have just the regular USB-C to HDMI adapter from Apple and allows me to output the HDMI here. And I'm going to use my video capture card again. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the HDMI cord to the adapter and then plug it into the MacBook. Now I'll take the USB end of the video capture card and just plug it into my Windows laptop. And now the MacBook believes it has a second screen over here on the Windows computer. And so on the Windows computer, I'm just going to use the camera app like I normally do. And it will, again, default to the front facing camera. There we go. And I can switch the camera to be the USB device. And now when I go full screen with this here, I actually can see from my Mac, I can move my cursor over and it's already oriented it properly. Again, you can go into the Mac settings for display and decide which side that it's supposed to appear on, but I can actually make it look like I have Mac PowerPoint over on my Windows computer. And I can drag that back over here. So when you use slideshow and you use presenter view, one of the things I've noticed is when I go into presenter view here, I notice that the Mac doesn't properly show over on the Windows computer. But here's the way you solve that, is you simply go up to the presenter view and you say swap displays, and that switches them. And now you see, oh, now I see presenter view. And then you can go and move your cursor over to the Windows and say swap displays again. And now it has the cursor or it has the slideshow on the Windows and presenter view on the Mac. And then on the Mac, we simply go through our slides as we would normally do. And again, we can share that screen, the second screen, which is running on the Windows computer in a virtual Teams or Zoom meeting. When you're done, simply end the slideshow and you have a Windows laptop acting as a second screen for your Mac laptop. So all using this video capture card allows you to use almost any laptop as a second screen for either a Windows or a Mac laptop. And it's a great alternative if you what, you what you have is a couple of laptops, but you don't have a second monitor to use. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.